Hi guys, welcome to my video tutorial on how I made these, I'm calling them pinwheel paper clips. Um, I made a whole bunch of them last night and they turned out really cute, so I thought I would do a little tutorial on them today. So, some things that you will need is a hot glue gun, mine's really hot, ready to go, some glue, I swear by glossy accents, I use it on everything, but use whatever makes you comfortable. Um, a bone folder, some enamel dots, these are homemade enamel dots that I made by melting small pony beads in the oven, but you can use whatever you have on hand, like buttons are good. Um, Perler beads melted make the same kind of thing too. Um, paper clips. Um, you'll need little pieces of scrap paper. I like these to be one inch squares. Doesn't have to be one inches. If you want bigger ones, you could do whatever size that you want, but they do have to be a square. So, I like one inch because they fit really cute on these paper clips. So that's the paper we'll be using. Um, a circle hole punch, and with that you'll need a scrap piece of paper. These are basically to punch out um, little hole or coverings for the back so you don't see all the hot glue mess going on. And we'll need this fun fur. It is called fun fur. Um, you can find it in the yarn section of your craft store because it's made for like scarves and stuff like that. And you will need scissors. Obviously, can't do anything without scissors. So let's get started here. I think that's all that we'll need for this. So first you're going to take your paper and you're going to want to make a diagonal cut, not all the way through, just kind of towards the center, but don't go all the way to the center because you're going to want to keep it together and do it on every corner. Just leave a little bit connected there. Then you got something that looks like that. So, once you have that down, you're going to want to lift up a corner and fold it towards the center on every other corner. So you got that one, you'll leave this one alone, and then you'll lift this one up. And leave that one alone, lift this one up, and fold it down, and same here. And I like mine to be flat edges, so I just go over it with my bone folder here. Okay. Now in the middle I'm gonna want to I'm gonna want these corners to all stay together. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my glossy accents. See if it's gonna cooperate today. Yep and just put a small little dab in the center and pull all these down and we'll just hold it for a second or two or longer if this one's not staying until they all stay by themselves Now that that's done, we're going to get or find an enamel dot here. I think I will put black on there. Okay. And because these are homemade enamel dots, obviously they don't have any adhesive or anything on the back. So I will have to, we'll put it this way, put a little bit of glue on the back here and 
put it in the center to cover up the joins. And I am unbelievably lazy, and honestly, I don't like to um, sit here and hold them. So I have this magnetic cutting mat from We Are Memory Keepers. And I'll just put that over there to hold it in place. <laughs> okay, so for our next step, we'll get everything um, ready here. We'll get out my paper clip. And for the fun fur, I don't like to use a lot. I'll just cut off a little piece here, maybe like an inch, an inch and a half, you know, just a little bit, and it does shed like crazy once you start cutting it. I've had this stuff for several months now, and it lasts forever. So we got that going. Next, we will cut out and punch out our circle for the back. I'll just let it sit for a little while longer here. Make sure it's good and dry. Okay, well while that's figuring out what it's going to do. Um, with this, I like to just grab an end and roll the rest of it around. Around my finger. Kind of. Okay, kind of fluff out, fluff out the pieces. Okay, so like I explained in my last video that I did, the video tutorial that I did, I don't feel heat like normal people, so I have no problem touching, you know, hot glue, but, you know, every person is different, you know your body, so if you don't feel comfortable putting your finger in hot glue, obviously, then don't. So we'll turn this back, or we'll turn we'll turn it around, and then we're going to put a little dab of hot glue there. Actually, that's kind of a big dab, but whatever. And just pop this on there and fluff these pieces out while it dries. So it's ugly, yes, but that's why we have the circle piece, is to cover this ugliness here. Okay. Hide some of this. Okay, so I'm taking the end of the yarn here and just folding it over because we're going to put another dot of glue and on this dot is where we're going to put our paper clip. Make sure that you use this side of the paper clip otherwise if you use this side, I mean, you're going to have a weird shaped paper clip. So, just put that on the glue and right away put the circle on the glue and squish it together. Now we're going to wait for it to harden. And there you go. I just let it cool for a couple extra minutes, but there you have them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Hopefully it was better than my last one where the camera wasn't focusing all the time. And if you have any comments or questions or anything, just leave me a comment and I will try my best to, to answer any questions as best that I can with my 
limited knowledge of crafting anyway. So yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great day.